Okay, so today uh, let me introduce with you about the corn maize plant. So you can see this is a maize plant. I have planted in my house in polybags. So you can see this is the anthara. In case of anthara, this is the main il male inflorescence. It's called male inflorescence. So we know that maize or corn is a monoecious plant. Why monoecious plant? Because the male and female are in the same plant but in different locations. Suppose the male plant, the male flower is always at the top. Always at the top and in the middle of the plant. You can see this is on this is on cob and this is the female flower. So female flower carrying the stigma. This is called in case of maize, this is called silk. Every single silk, huh? this is, you can see it looks like a hair. So every single silk is connected with the ovary. That means every single seed. So how many seed inside representing the every single silk here. And this silk is right now is sticky. That means the stigma is ready to receive the pollen. So here have several plants. So this one, the last one, this has almost finished. And this one is close to finish. So in case of maize or corn, so they firstly they bloom the male inflorescence at the top after three to four days then we can see the cob is coming from the middle of the plant huh? is this a node so every node join normally they can produce but normally three is maximum two to three female flower or female inflorescence or cob they can produce from there so this is this plant is only one so if you think this is uh, they have only developed two or this uh, this one two this plant is one, this plant is also D2. So regarding the hybridization <coughs> or the crossing, so if you want to do the hybridize, so I collected this seed from the second generation, that means this is this segregated line, this is F2 line. So I just collected seed from the farm. Supposedly this should be F1, that means hybrid. So from the hybrid, then I collected the seed. So this is called the second generation or F2 generation. So for this, this the quality is uh, very poor, but this is not, not my job. I, my job is to introduce with you the hybridization procedure in corn or maize. So when we can see the inflorescence, this was the inflorescence when they come out, then after, within the, the, the day you can see the coming out within two to three days, you can see they start blooming. So if I want to see you, so all these are pollen, all these are pollen. So this pollen is already shaded. There is no no pollen inside the anther. We can see only the inflorescence with the anther. So in case of maize, the anther longevity or lifespan is 12 to 18 hours only. So they can shed the pollen or usable, or we can see their lifespan is only 12 to 18 hours in case of anther the pollen longevity. But in case of female, that means that this is a stigma. So the receptivity is 8 to 10 days. 8 to 10 days they can receive the pollen. So this is the good opportunity that they can receive pollen from any sources beside plants or even the beside any other field of corn, any types of corn. And the pollen is very light and thin so they can fly using the flow of the air. And uh, depending on the color of the pollen, so sometimes if the color is pinkish color or some other is, so when the pollen is dropping over the stigma, we can see easily. So right now this plant is already uh, expired. That means the pollen is already expired. So even beside plant is already expired. So I am worried that the stigma will not receive any pollen so far. If surrounding any, any insect or any fly, if they carry or honeybee, they carry the pollen from other plants, then they will be successful in case of fertilization. Otherwise, no fruiting. So inside we can see there is a very empty corn. Okay, so as I already explained that this is monoecious. That means the male flower and female flower in the same plant but different location. And mostly they develop the cob from the nodes. So now if you want to do the hybridization that I was trying to say you. So when the female male flower is already, the male inflorescence has already come out from the plant and we can easily see when they are coming out. And V4, V4 uh, 
uh, anthesis period, that means before opening the male flower, we need to cut. So suppose it is, this is very easy for, so we need to cut from here. We need to cut from here. That means this is called the emasculation in case of other plant, but in case of maize, this is called detasseling, detasseling, removal of anther. This is called detasseling. So we need to cut V4. You can see this is the empty, empty anther here. So no pollen inside. So V4 opening. So in the open, we can see this anther is hanging like a pendulum. So we have to cut from here. And when the male flower is already open, so by three to four days, from the nodes and from the base of the leaf, we can see the cob is coming out. So when we see the cob is coming out, then we need to cover with the uh, bagging bags. That means we should not allow hybridization by the same pollen. If you want to do the hybridization, if self pollination, then no problem. We just keep at it. But if hybridization, then we need to cover it. The, the silk with the cob, we need to cover with the pollination bag or we can say bagging bag. And we need to collect the pollen from our desired male parent. So if beside another should be the your desired male parent, so you have to bring the pollen and shed it over the stigma, over the silk. This is called the silk in case of maize. So this is very long. Sometimes some of the plants is very long, you can see. So it looks like here, very long. And you can see the already already fertilizing some of the so the color is changing because of the pollen color is looks like uh, a, a different color so is already should they already form different color so they have already received the pollen from the top of the uh, pollen so we need to cover it before opening uh, also remember just when you when see the the cob is coming out little bit uh, even that's very minor you can see immediately we need to cover it to protect the undesired pollination. Then after 8 to 10 days, so that is by 8 to 10 days, we need to collect the pollen or desired male and we need to shed it and we need to cover it again because any time they can receive the pollen from the undesired source. So for this to protect the undesired pollination, we need to cover. And after 10 days, that means we can say we need to wait more days, eh? like we can say after two weeks, we can remove the pack and we can see the uh, how the seed is setting inside normally we can see or we can realize so now i hands on i want to show you how to do the the emasculation that is detasseling in case of corn and bagging tagging and repollination again okay so now i want to show you hands on how to do the hybridization in maize or the corn so for hybridization our first step is to detasseling removal of anther removal of anther that means in case of corn it is called detasseling or we can say another called emasculation but as there's monoecious just remove the male inflorescence so and we also need some of the materials so we need the bagging bag or pollination bag to cover the uh, female and this is the tag we need to write down the information of the male and female and the time of pollination and obviously you need the pencil or pen to write down and we need the scissor any types of scissor you can use just to cut down the tassel the inflorescence so and this mostly the main uh, tools that we need okay now i want to show you how to do the emasculation or we can say detasseling so as i already show you that this is the male inflorescence so you can see so this already empty this is all our anther so inside the anther, the pollen is already finished because they are lifespan only 8 to 10, uh, 12 to 18 hours. Remember it, 12 to 18 hours only after that, they are, they are already dead. So this is already more than uh, four, four or five days, so already dead. So just for your uh, ideas and experiment, or we can see that how we can do that. So this is removal of this inflorescence before opening before blooming the anther before blooming the male inflorescence so you need to remove that one so just by cutting from the top so this is when i cut down it remove it so that means it's already detasseled plant so this plant is now 100 percent female because male is already removed so 100 percent female and so you can see the base there have the this is the female cob eh? this is the female one and two 
So this is the already uh, firstly the uh, open that one, bloom that one, then secondly that one. So as I already told you, so before coming out the silk outside, eh, before coming out the silk outside, so you need to cover it. That means bagging, because we need to stop the undesired pollination from any other undesired or unwanted male pollen. So for this, as this is already converted to female, so before this is already open, so this is not effective now. But for your case, you need to check it before coming out. So we can see about to come out, then we need to cover it. Eh? So like that, we need to cover the entire crop. So sometimes we can see, so from the bottom, so just cover it like that as is already open so this is not effective just for the your knowledge and experiment so i am doing that then we can use some of the cliff eh? or if it is sometimes we need to remove a little bit the leaf to keep it tightly the bag okay so like this so the silk is already out here but when is about to bloom then there is very minor silk this not already the residue so this is the bagging so after bagging, then the silk or the cob is, they are active, or their lifespan is 8 to 10 days. So in the meantime of 8 to 10 days, you need to collect the pollen from another plant. Suppose if you think about this is our desired male, so you need to collect the pollen any means, by any means, or we can cut the entire tassel, or you can collect the pollen in any poly bags or any small bowl or pots. Collect the collect this and thus and shaking over the poly bag and then collect on the petri dish or any types of bowl. Then bring it, or if you want to cut down it, and this is already finished. So when they are there, they this need to cut down when they are already bloom. The male flower already bloom and pollen is shedding. Then after that, you need to bring it, remove the bag, and thus shed over the tag. Shed shake over the so like that. So we need to do this is called the pollination or we can say hybridization so after doing this because now is already no pollen here but when they are already uh, active then we can do this then we need to cover it again because the silk lifespan is 8 to 10 days so by 8 to 10 days they can receive any types of undesired pollen so after detest after uh, pollination need to cover it again then we can you can tie with the rope or something else, the the, the uh, threads uh, just to keep it stable. So this is actually known as oh okay. So after that we need to hang the tag uh, so close to or or even close to the leaf. So we can hang the tag at the base of the leaf just to identify. This is the which one is the female which is uh, this is the female. So write down the variety name or the parental name and this we have to write down the male, the name of the male okay, so from which the, the pollen source and we need to maintain until harvesting and the further use. So this is the entire procedure that we can do and after about two weeks then we can remove the bag. Just this, this time is already the stigma, they already expire. So there is no further chance to do the pollination. So by this way we can do the hybridization in hybridization in uh, corn or maize. Eh? So this is the entire procedure. F hopefully I can uh, believe that this will be helpful for you. And I already told you this is the segregated line, the second generation. So just for the experiment I did it and but if it is production of truly hybrid then the male and female the plant should be a inbreed line. This is called the pure line. Selected male, selected female. Then we can do that at and this is very easy in case of maize because they are monoecious. The male flower and female flower is totally different in the same plant but different location. So it's very easy. Sometimes this on another thing, sometimes some of the silk is very long. So in that case, sometimes it is suggested to cut because we cannot do the bagging. Sometimes after pollination. So sometimes suggested to cut the silk. It's no, no problem because the entire here, any place as if they receive the pollen, it will be successful for the fertilization so we can cut down some of the part if they're very long because it will be helpful for the bagging so suppose this is a mix so now you can see this is very easy for bagging like that 
so this is the complete backing and because we need to stop the receiving of pollen from any other plants any other male so this is the issue so this is the entire uh, steps that you can follow for the hybridization in corn or maize for the development of hybrid or a pt's parental line then we need to do this just do the cell pollination collect the pollen from the same plant for the successful pollination we can do that but in case of hybridization surely before blooming the male you need to cut we need to cut the or the is called detasseling we need to remove the pollen or the anther or the in male inflorescence this is called detasseling just remember that one in case of corn in case of maize removal of anther is known as detasseling and the infl male inflorescence is known as tassel so that we can see in case of other plant this is called the male flower or male but in case of case in case of corn it's called the tassel so removal of tassel detasseling so this is in another term we can use in case other crops is called emasculation so that's all about the in in the hybridization in corn or maize for the development of hybrid